The Limba script is used to write the Limba language. It is a Brahmic type abugida. Topic History Topic According to traditional histories, the Limba script was first invented in the late 9th century by King Sirijunga Hang, then fell out of use, to be reintroduced in the 18th century by Te Ongzi Sirijunga Shin Tebe during the time, teaching of the Limba script was outlawed by the monarchy in Sikkim, as it posed a threat to the monarchy. Topic accounts with Sirijunga topic Limba language is one of the few Sino-Tibetan languages of the Central Himalayas to possess their own scripts, Sprig 1959-590, Sprig 1959-591-592 and MS, 1-4 tells us that the Limba or Karat Sirijunga script was devised during the period of Buddhist expansion in Sikkim in the early 18th century when Limbawan still constituted part of Sikkimese territory. The Limba script was probably composed at roughly the same time as the Lepsha script which was created by the third king of Sikkim, Chakdor Namjil ca. 1700-1717. The Karat Sirijunga script is ascribed to the Limba hero, Te Ongzi Sirijunga translation, reincarnated Sirijunga, refer to Sirijunga Hang who was killed by the Tassong monks in conspiracy with the king of Sikkim at the time when Sima Pratap Shah was king of Nepal i.e. the 11th of January 1775 to the 17th of November 1777, still or 141,153. Topic structure Topic As an abugida, a basic letter represents both a consonant and an inherent, or default, vowel. In limba, the inherent vowel is to change the inherent vowel, a diacritic is added, k, represents the same syllable as, k. Some writers avoid the diacritic, considering it redundant. Syllable initial vowels use the vowel carrier, with the appropriate dependent vowel sign. Used by itself, represents syllable initial. Initial consonant clusters are written with small marks following the main consonant, final consonants after short vowels are written with another set of marks, except for some final consonants occurring only in loanwords. They follow the marks for consonant clusters, if any. Long vowels without a following final consonant are written with a diacritic called kemfring. For example, k. There are two methods for writing long vowels with syllable final consonants. Use the kemfring diacritic and the final consonant, such as, kk. Replace the final consonant with the corresponding full consonant and add an underscore-like diacritic mark. This indicates that the consonant is final vowel -less and that the preceding vowel is lengthened. For example, kk. This same diacritic may be used to mark final consonants in loanwords that do not have final forms in limba, regardless of the length of the vowel. The first method is widely used in Sikkim, the second method is advocated by certain writers in Nepal. Glottalization is marked by a sign called mukfring. For example, k. Topic obsolete characters topic Three additional letters were used in early versions of the modern script. Two ligatures were used for Nepali consonant conjuncts, Jainya for Devanagari Jainya, Tra for Devanagari Tra 19th century texts used a small anusvara, to mark nasalization. This was used interchangeably with The sign, was used for the exclamatory particle, lo. Topic punctuation topic The main punctuation mark used in limba is the Devanagari double danda. It has its own exclamation mark, and question mark. Topic digits topic Limba has its own set of digits. Topic Unicode topic Limba script was added to the Unicode standard in April, 2003 with the release of version 4.0. The Unicode block for Limba is U plus 1900 U plus 194F. Topic. References Topic. <references>